For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Washington seek recognition? Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute. The gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Thank you. Without objection. Today, the Supreme Court is hearing one of the most important abortion rights cases in generations. The case, Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, marks the first time in 50 years the court agreed to hear a case on the constitutionality of a pre-viability abortion ban. In other words, the state of Mississippi has asked the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. Let me be clear, reproductive health access is a fundamental right. This is about supporting body autonomy and well-being. It's also about economic justice and social freedom. The people hurt most by abortion restrictions and bans are those who already face barriers to getting access to health care. Women, people of color, those working to make ends meet, members of the LGBTQI community, immigrants, young people, those in rural communities, and people with disabilities and others. We can look to the state of Texas as a real life example. Texas has banned almost all abortions in the state, forcing people to travel across state lines to receive care. Now's the time for the Supreme Court to show that it decides cases based on precedent and rule of law, not politics, not ideology. Every person time, should be free to make the best health care decisions, regardless of where they live. Thank you, Madam Chair. I yield back.